All right, guys, doing a, uh, another uh, PYT case break here at 2023 Bowman Jumbo Baseball. Thank you for joining in, and uh, thank you guys again for your support of Firehand Cards. Just as I started this break, I started feeling a case of heartburn, so Tums it is. <laughs> the uh, Super Fractor Bounty is at 500 bucks. We'll award it an out store credit if we can get one yanked out of here. If not, Bounty carries over next qualifying break. Uh, Diamondbacks and Dodgers were awarded out in yesterday's Mega Filler, and, and uh, Mr. Tables there managed to win both teams in that Mega Filler. You got this bad boy filled up and rocking. Yeah, that one's kind of rough. Gotta take a shot with the Braves every once in a while, though, with Michael Harris right now. You get his autograph here in the chips, you know? It's okay to take shots. Just remember that. Just don't take too many shots, because then it'll build up. Or don't take more shots you can afford. All right, I got a Fuchsia Lunar to 189. Zakaloff Athletics going to Sergeant Skunk. Nice. It, isn't it great when you buy guys that, on the ground floor and then you see them just rise and rise and rise as they, you know, matriculate through their the farm system? Uh, thank you, Justin. And keepsake will probably be going late tonight. You know, for some of you guys, it'll be late. Yeah, just to let you guys know, I had to be in the office seven forty-five this morning, so um, I'm probably not gonna be. I'm not gonna be going like past eight o'clock tonight. Um, but I'll try to make sure I get in everything as best as I can. Pete Alonso, blue paper to one fifty Mets for Brian seventy-seven. I uh, got a uh, purple auto two fifty Brandon Walter for the Red Sox. It's gonna break the ice. A Donnelly thirty-four. Yeah, so just to let you know, guys. Yeah, I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to go till about eight o'clock tonight. That's why I didn't add too much to the store this morning. Alex Ramirez, is purple uh, Ray Wave to two fifty Mets, Brian seventy seven. Had to make sure you guys had your candy in the form of Topps Chrome baseball. So, <clears throat> and plus with uh, plus with keeping the stock in the store down just a little bit it does give some more attention to those National Treasures football PYTs for that break for that product coming out Wednesday. Refractor Auto to 499, Caden Dana, Angels, Jay Kowalski. Yeah, I don't want to be at the office more than 13 hours if I can afford it, afford to do so. So. <laughs> For the Angels, Randy De Jesus, uh, base autograph. Angels for Jay Kowalski. So it looks like all the autographs are uh, not just backwards, but inside out. Your Lunaglyph for the box is Ellie De La Cruz, Reds. Uh, purple paper to 250 Jorge Ruiz Angels, Jay Kowalski.
Oh, yeah. All those Corbin Carrolls. Yeah. That 19 draft, right? Yeah, with uh, Bowman Autos, Bowman Autos, Bowman first. It's 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 you got to play the long game with them. I try to tell you guys that if you're buying Bowman Bowman draft just to flip the cards you get right away and not hold anything, you're into buying it for all the wrong reasons. Although I will say that if you open up like a brand new Bowman product and you get like a gold auto or an orange auto of like the top guy. Yeah, by all means, get that one graded and sell it right away. Then use those funds to buy multiple regular autos when they're inexpensive with the same guy. And then wait for those to build up. Then essentially what you're doing is you're double dipping. You're double dipping and free rolling. And those are two great things you can do at the same time. Got a redemption here. Spencer Jones, Atomic Auto to 100. New York Yankees, a EMT in Hawaii. Nice hit. Jefferson Rojas to 499 Cubs. Jax 1110. Uh, Refractor Auto, Samil De La Rosa to 499, Cardinals to uh, Booyah 888. What does his minor league stats look like, like right now? Is he performing? Is he not performing? One thing that's nice, is you, there's a couple of nice references you can use to look up guys that are coming up. You know, go to uh, you can go to MILB.com and look up a player. You can also use Baseball Reference to see how they're performing there as well. You can find stats there as well. That's the best thing to do. Just look at stats, see what they're doing. Are they striking out a lot? Are they getting on base a lot? You know, what's their fielding like? What kind of a need does uh, their parent team have at the position that they're playing? A lot of things to consider. Oh, he just got called up. Well, there you go. I usually say if you're if you buy if you buy or acquire uh, a first bowman of a guy, I think the best times to try to flip it is as soon as he gets a call up. Anthony Goodyear is a 399 for the Rangers. T Lock 03. In fact, if I'm one of those guys that really had my ear to the ground and I just had like a stash of Bowman first autos, as soon as I get an alert that a guy's getting a call up, I would put whatever I have up on eBay right away at top dollar. And if people bite on it, they bite on it. And if they don't, it's their loss. Uh, for the Pirates, Braylon Bishop. Blue Auto to 150. Pirates, Kylie Amy. <clears throat> because it's not going to be every time that a guy gets a call up or starts to see starts a new season with the team, they'll go off on a 15 game hit streak like Walker did, for example, like Jordan Walker. You know, uh, more often than not, they're probably going to struggle just a little bit. Then they'll have flashes of brilliance that they stick on the roster, and then they eventually uh, develop and stick around. Uh, first Bowman, Lunar Glow, Candy Corona, Astros. Uh, gold paper to fifty. Marco Luciano Gigantes. MR Pikes twenty three. Yeah.
Uh, blue paper to 151, Burrito Rockies. Jay Sanchez. Uh, Luis Garcia, base out of Blue Jays for BRJ. He's sub 400 in double A ball right now. You also have to understand how old is Dominguez now? 19? His uh, first cards came out when he was 16, right? Was he 16 when the 2020 Bowman released? <clears throat> but I will say, yeah, his, uh, you know, the, uh, the balance is coming on Dominguez and stuff. Uh, Damon Keith for the Dodgers. This is a gold uh, shimmer auto to 50. Dodgers are one of those two teams that Jay Tables won the Mega Filler yesterday. He's 20 now. He's still got another year or two before like you can label him a bust, in my opinion. I mean, there are guys that, um, you know, there are guys that um, don't get to the major leagues till they're, what, 22 sometimes? It's, they get signed at 18, and then it takes them three, four years to get through. Let's uh, we'll take Corbin Carroll as an example. So Corbin Carroll, I can't remember what uh, I can't remember. I remember he was 19 draft and he started this year, right? 23. So it took him three years, three full years in minor league ball before he got up. Plus he probably played a couple years of college, so he's what 23, 24 now. If I see a uh, uh, Carroll, I can look at his stats, his vitals. But just kind of to prove my point, baseball is such a fickle game, and it takes time for guys to develop. You know. And there's only so many spots on a major league roster. And if you're a hitter, you know, you say you're a first baseman, there's probably only a maximum of three spots on the roster that you could possibly occupy. And you think of it along those lines. All right, here's Corbin Carroll's rookie. Uh, born in 2000. Okay, so he's 20. Uh, uh, he actually turns 23 on, August, on the 21st. And uh, yeah, so he was he was drafted at 19 years old, so he played one year of college ball. Okay, actually, he, he major league debut was August 29th of last year. So there you go. Uh, Braylon Bishop, base autograph for the Pirates for Kylie Amy. You know, if a guy if a guy gets drafted at 18 out of high school and he can't make the major leagues by 23 or 24, it's probably safe to label him a bust at that point. You know, if um, if a guy gets drafted after four years of college and he's in the minor leagues more than two years, maybe same thing. I'll put him at his age twenty three season. I agree with that too, Marty. Yeah. There are also times where guys get called up called up from Double A straight to straight to the major leagues. Doesn't happen too often, but I have seen it happen. Uh, Henry Davis for the Pirates, Lunar Glow. Pirates for Kylie Amy. Uh, got a few show refractor to 189. Framey De Leon for the Red Sox for Adam Lee. Yeah, Michael Harris went, uh, did a jump from double-A straight to the majors. You're right. There are a few guys that have. It doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen. It just goes to show you that the difference between double-A AA and triple-A ball is not as pronounced as you think, especially for young guys. Yeah, Zach Neto's another one. That's a good example, John. 
And that guy made a jump pretty quickly because his uh, first autographs were what last year's drafts. And look what happened opening day of this year. He's on the he's on the Angels roster. So, but also did but then Zach Neto also didn't he have four years of college? So it's like he's pretty much just about there as far as his development's concerned. Uh, William Lugo, uh, Speckle Auto 299 Mets, Brian 77. Right. Uh, for the Guardians, Angel Janow, base autograph, or Janow, uh, Guardians EMT. In Hawaii. Excuse me. Right, Josh Young for the Rangers, rookie to your favorites, uh, Aqua to 125. T lock. Got a lime green and paper to 399, Juan Brito Rockies. Jay Sanchez. <clears throat> hey, there's just way to Paula. Base autograph for the Doyers for J Tables. Well, we found you a couple of good Dodger autos there, Justin. We need to finish off the uh, the win in that mega filler by finding you a Drew, I think. That would be good. Uh, Jace Bowen to 125 Aqua Shimmer. Pirates, Kylie Amy. Edwin Arroyo is your next Lunar Glow for the Reds. Yeah? Pitchers, I think pitchers are even more fickle than position players with regards to development, you know? And I think part of it is just like, you know, for a pitcher, it's just how many, how many innings do you have on that arm? It's kind of like the same thing for a professional wrestler. How many bumps do you have on your bump card, you know? You know, for that, for a pitcher, how many innings do you truly have in your arm over the course of your career? If you're if you're a guy who pitched for four years in college, you better be darn ready to pitch in the majors right away because you only have so many throws left in you. Right, because of COVID. <laughs> uh, pink paper to one seventy five. Pete Alonso Mets for Brian seventy seven. Uh, Refractor to 499. One Burrito Rockies for Jay Sanchez. You know, it's funny. There's a lot of pitchers every year that, um, that you know, that their numbers, you're just like, the numbers don't necessarily match the stuff. I mean, let's be honest. Look at Otani. I mean, you think a guy like Otani, the way he pitches, you should have like, 12, 13 wins right now. He's got nine. I know wins are not a, wins are far from the best measurement stick for the effectiveness of a pitcher. Um, but you know, sometimes you get a. I mean, look, he had a couple of starts ago. I think it was against Seattle. He went, he went seven innings, gave up one run, and got no decision. Why? Because close closer blew a save, gave him a grand slam in the ninth inning. You know. I remember, I think it was one of King Felix's Cy Young seasons. I think he only won like 13 games. 
he had a lot of no decisions. He'd go deep in the starts and you know leave a game giving up one or two runs, and then the bullpen can't hold it down, or whatever, or the offense can't score. There's so many variables. You know, for a pitcher to win 20 games, it takes a lot of skill and 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 almost as much luck. I mean that's incredible. Well, Greg Max also got the benefit. Usually got the beneficiary of uh, getting a lot of a uh, lot of borderline pitches called in his way. <laughs> Could you imagine a Greg Maddox uh, pitch in a strike zone that was officiated by Angel Hernandez? <laughs> that was also the same year Tony Gwynn hit, uh, hit 394 before the strikes ended the season. <laughs> One almost to 150 blue paper Royals for Brad Slater. Yeah, that uh, strike uh, ruined a couple of potentially absolute historic years. Uh, Yankel Fernandez, the 499 Rockies, Refractor, Jay Sanchez. Yeah, the Expos. Yeah, the Expos were in first place. They were going to win that division. They were the best team in baseball. Uh, for the Braves, MB Oris Tavares. Uh, Braves for Marty. Uh, which one? Uh, Matt Mervis, Refractor Auto Cubs, the 499 Cubbies, Jack's 1110. William Lugo, first Bowman Lunar Glow, Mets, Brian 77. I don't think he ever did, you're right. I mean, Gwyn averaged like 20 strikeouts a season, it was incredible. Sky Blue Otani to 499 Angels, Jay Kowalski. And also for the Angels, I got you Jorge Ruiz out of here. Blue Lunar to 150. <laughs> yep. Uh, Angel Juno for the Guardians, number 125, Aqua Shimmer. Guardians for EMT. Tony Gwynn, Tony Gwynn is a perfect example of being a best pitcher's worst nightmare. So you, you can pick the five greatest pitchers that pitched during the time Tony Gwynn played, and Tony Gwynn was probably their biggest nightmare. It's, it, it, I'll, I'll compare this to another sport. One of the, you know, a lot of people, you know, there's certain football players that you can argue are they Hall of Famers or not. And Fred Taylor is that name that keeps coming up right now because he's been all Hall of Fame eligible for seven or eight years. And, you know, some people are like, well, he only made one Pro Bowl. Why should he, why should, why should he be a Hall of Famer? Uh, he played for Jacksonville. Why should he be a Hall of Famer? But if you ask any Pittsburgh Steeler defender that's that played against him and is in the Hall of Fame, they'll say that the toughest player that they ever played against, the game plan against, was Fred Taylor. 
and you could probably say the same thing about Greg Maddox with uh, Tony Gwynn, or a lot of pitchers during that era, is, you know, having to pitch Tony Gwynn. You just couldn't strike the dude out. You know, you were going to have to make a, somebody was going to have to make a play in the field against him, or he was going to get on base. For the Giants, Kyle Harrison base autograph. Giants for MR Pikes Uh, purple to 250 MBR is Tavares. Purple refractor for the Braves and Marty. Any chance for a Bowman triple case again? Possibly in the future when I know I have enough time to be able to run one. <laughs> That's not a terrible idea. Maybe once Topps Chrome slows down, both in baseball and soccer, might be able to have more time to be able to do something like a Bowman Triple Case. That would definitely be on the radar. But, you know, right now our most popular products are all Topps Chrome. Topps Chrome Baseball, Topps Chrome Soccer. Whenever we put them in the store, they sell out. And those breaks take time. For the Mets, Kodai Senga to three ninety nine Mets for Brand 77. Of course, the uh, other thing is if we get to a point where we can get a, another breaker to break a couple of times a week, that can definitely happen as well. Uh, Luis Garcia out of Blue Jays. BRJ? Can you just tell me when the Braves will hit in Dynasty so I can buy it? Man, that's tough. <laughs> uh, Nikal Poco Grego to 299. Speckle? Phillies to J Rock? Oh, Nima, did you complete that sale that we talked about yesterday? Did you end up pulling the trigger on it? <laughs> uh, Manuel Beltre for Blue Jays. Speckle Auto 299. Blue Jays for BRJ. Nice. <laughs> yeah, let me know what happens. Where do Marlins hits at? Good question. Usually we find at least one auto. There's several guys in here. Uh, Joel Ponte for the Blue Jays. Lunar Glow. BRJ. And and um, and remember, guys. Well, um, since uh, Nima brought it out that he's a card slut, there's a difference between sluts and whores. So let's get paid. <laughs> Actually, it's the other way around. I learned that from Brockmeyer. <laughs> All right, I got a gold rookie to your favorites of Vinny Riley Green Tigers Hunter Martin. Yeah, I do have it backwards. Uh, Mikey Romero, Red Sox, four ninety nine. A Donnelly, sky blue paper.
Yeah, he did. Hit a couple of Dodgers. Still, you have to hit a Diamondbacks auto, though. Uh, one more Flores for the Tigre Speculato 299. Hunter Martin. Yeah, but I think he bought like oh, I forgot how many spots Justin had. It's irrelevant. He got both teams. Uh, Bryce Harper to four ninety nine for the Phillies. Sky blue paper. Uh, Phillies for uh, J Rock. Got an Aqua Lunar to one twenty five. Jefferson Rojas Cubbies Jacks. Purple pattern to 189, Eric Brown Jr. Brewers to Mons on Dam. Wow. Uh, besides Arthur, did any, anybody else in the room uh, manage to get any Sapphire UEFA boxes this morning from Tops? For the Orioles, Colton Kowser, Leonard Glow. Uh, for the Blue Jays, Manuel Beltre, uh, base autograph, Blue Jays 4, BRJ. Got a gold refractor, Jackson Chorio Brewers, and that's where I talk about the secondary color match. When uh, color refractor matches the trim on their jerseys, I like it. Uh, Brewers, Mons on Dam. I, I like it better in a regular color match, personally. For the Angels, Kid Dana, base autograph. Or Jay Kowalski. Got one more box to rock. Alright, again, Atomic to 150, Rosman Verdugo, Padres, and a Boga. Speckle 299, Ronnie Simon, Rays, John Draper. First Bowman, Luis Garcia, Blue Jays, BRJ. Uh, 
Uh, Jacob Berry to 399 Marlins. Lime green paper for Doug Brown. Count these autographs down. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Yeah, I thought I would have had at least one of the autographs by now. It's kind of weird. Got five packs left. I haven't seen an auto yet. Usually you get the auto spread around a bit. All right, there's one. Uh, for Diamondbacks, not Drew Jones. Uh, Blue Lunar, Dominic Hanzone. Uh, for Jay Tables. Lava to 399, Ryder Carrius Yankees, EMT in Hawaii. There's another auto. Uh, Abel Bastidas, uh, base autograph Tigers for Hunter Martin. Oh, that's right, you're in the past because you're on a flight, huh? There's your autograph, uh, Dougie. I knew I could find you a Marlin eventually. Jacob Berry to 499, Refractor Auto. It only took till 24th hit. Excuse me. All right, Marty, thanks, brother. I'll talk to you soon. So that was where we had three packs in a row with autographs. Usually the way they set up those boxes is that they usually have like, in a jumbo box, like three of the four stacks will have one of the autographs and the other stack will go blank. So when I went through seven packs without an auto, that was kind of concerning for a sec. Then the next three packs in a row, I had hits. This is a case I would call not the greatest, but not the worst either. I don't know. Mixed bag. Very mixed bag on this one. Probably Spencer Jones Atomic might have been the best hit we got. How many numbered autos do we get total? 4, 8, 12, 13 out of the 24 autos are numbered, so that's good. Yeah, the Gold Riley Green insert wasn't terrible. Jackson Churry, although it wasn't a first, number to 50, can't complain. Yeah, just like any other product, you know, cards, uh, you know, cases can be hit and miss. Uh, just, it, there was a couple decent cards in there, but I didn't think that I felt like there was anything that soothed the soul, you know. Recaps here. Uh, 2023 Bowman Jumbo Baseball 8 Box PYT Case 45. Thank you for joining on the break. Here's what we pulled. Uh, Lunar Glows, Ellie De La Cruz, Candy Corona, Henry Davis, Edwin Arroyo, William Lugo, Johan Joel Ponte, uh, Colton Kowser, Luis Garcia. Your numbered paper, to 499, Shohei Otani, Bryce Harper, Mikey Romero, to 399, Kodai Senga, Juan Brito, Jacob Berry, to 250, Jorge Ruiz, to 199, Eric Brown Jr., to 175, Pete Alonso, to 150, Pete Alonso, Juan Brito, and Juan Olmos, and to 50, Marco Luisiano. Uh, your number diffractors to 499, Jefferson Rojas, Juan Brito, Yank Will Fernandez, to 399, Anthony Gutierrez, Roderick Arias, to 299, Nikal Poco Grego, and Ronnie Simon, to 250, Roderick Arias, and Bioris Tavares, Alex Ramirez, uh, to 199, Framie De Leon, Zach Aloft, to 150, Rosman Verdugo, to 125, Jace Bowen, Angel Janelle, Jefferson Rojas, Josh Young, and number to 50, Jackson Chorio, and Riley Green. 
Will we see more prison baseball? Hopefully. I, it, it's not so much a matter of whether or not I want to sell it. It's more of a matter of when can I post it that I know I'm going to be able to have enough time to break it. That the, Right now, my biggest problem is time, to be honest, Josh. I have a couple of cases here, so I would like to do some more half-case breaks. We had that one day I managed to throw a couple half-case breaks up, and it moved quickly. So, you know, it's a matter of time before I can get some more posted up, but I would like to. All right, uh, 11 base autos. Randy De Jesus, Luis Garcia, Braylon Bishop, Angel Janelle, Josue De Paula, Ambioris Taveras, Kyle Harrison, Luis Garcia, Manuel Beltre, Caden Dana, Abel Bastidas. Um, I can also tell you, Josh, I do have a few loose boxes if you really need to get your appetite uh, wetted. Um, I can probably offer you a, a personal box to ship to you sealed if you like. If you if that's something you're interested in, let me know. Shoot me an email. We'll figure it out. Uh, numbered autos, Refractors of 499, Caden Dana, Samil De La Rosa, Matt Mervis, Jacob Berry, uh, Speckled of 299, William Lugo, Manuel Beltre, Wilmer Flores, the 250 Purple, Brandon Walter, Blue to 150, Braylon Bishop, Blue Lunar to 150, Jorge Ruiz and Dominic Canzone, Speck, or uh, rather Atomic Auto to 100, Spencer Jones, and a gold uh, Shimmer to 50, Damon Keith. And that'll do it for the break. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for your support of Firehand, and congrats to our lucky hitters in the break. Till next one.